The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports is engaging partners as it seeks to explore alternative energy sources to power lighting and other amenities at sporting facilities in different parts of the island. Minister responsible for Youth Development and Sports, the Honorable Kenson Casimir, says the plan is to move away from fossil fuels and noted that the new lighting system at Corinth was part of a pilot project to meet that goal. What we've done is we've used the solar energy to power the school and of course the lighting of the facility and uh, we had good discussion on what other means we could use uh, as, it com as it pertains to energies in community. Um, uh, solar farms, for instance, in communities such as Moshi and Granivere for, you know, some of the, the wooden houses in terms of giving them relief um, so that they won't have to have exorbitant electricity bills. Paul Antel of Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency represents a group of companies from Canada that were on island to offer cooperation in a number of areas for national development. One of the companies Coal's Associates is spearheading the transition to solar energy. It focused on the blue and green economy, but uh, when we talk, you know, th th those include things like solar and, and uh, you know, energy uh, usage. So, you know, working with, with the, all that kind of falls broadly within youth and sport, but uh, it's really about, uh, about looking at how uh, we can work with St. Lucian companies to, to kind of further that kind of you know, global warming, climate change kind of uh, action. A number of facilities on the island are earmarked for the transition to solar energy, including larger grounds like the Darren Sami Cricket Ground, the Sufra Mini Stadium, and the Mindu Phillip Park. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.